You're finally back. I didn't think you'd be gone for so long. Sorry if it was too much trouble. That's okay. We did offer to help. So anyway, is Master D. Luke back yet? We didn't see him at Falcon Coast. Sorry, I'm not sure of Master's whereabouts either. But I did hear that he recently visited Angel's chair. After dealing with this kind of trouble, Master is always careful to tie up all loose ends. It's become something of a routine. He should be back very soon. You needn't worry. In the meantime, please make yourself comfortable in the winery. After all that, we managed to completely miss him! Oh well. Let's just wait for him at the winery this time. By the way, Adeline, how come you're always standing here at the door lately? Usually you're busy indoors. Hopefully you haven't been standing there waiting for Master d -Luke this whole time, cause that would be really tiring. Oh, thanks for your concern. But I've actually been instructed by Master to meet with some special guests here. Certain guests may need reminding to stay away for the time being. Master hopes that under the present circumstances, these guests will keep an appropriate distance from the winery, so as not to make a difficult situation even more complicated. Uh, well, Paimon didn't understand any of that, but it sounds like a really important job. <laughs> That's very kind of you indeed, but you've already helped Master D. Luke out a great deal. You can let me take care of these time-consuming chores. There is one small thing you could do for me, though. Please, take this letter and place it on the table to your right as you enter the door. There are a few archived letters on that table already. Just put this one at the very top of the pile. Is this a letter for Master D. Luke? Yes, it's from one of his informants. Only those in Master's inner circle are permitted to handle it or serve as custodian. Ooh, that means we're part of d -Luke's inner circle. Of course. Master d -Luke greatly values your friendship. Thanks again for the help. been in a hurry. Adeline asked us to put this one at the top of the pile, but how are we supposed to tell the order of the other ones? Guess we'll have to read them to get an idea of when they came in. Oh, that's true. In that case, let's just tidy them up a little. You're here. You move fast. What are you agonizing over? Miss Adeline asked us to put these letters in a pile, and we can't tell which order they should go in. But, uh, it's your personal mail, so it'd be rude for us to read them without your permission. <sighs> There's no need to be nervous. And I can see from the looks on your faces that they've grabbed your interest. These letters deal with events that are past and gone. I only held on to them in case any of the information they contain proves useful later down the line. I just dug them out to confirm a few details. I've been following some rather unique developments recently. You were involved in the events in question anyway. You can read them if you want to. It's not a bad thing to be curious. <sighs> Actually, you kind of smell like wild mountain fruit. Oh, did you go to those mountains where the Valberries come from? Very perceptive. Yes, I did make a trip to the Stormbearer Mountains. I'll fill you in later. No fear! We still have some super important things to discuss with d -Luke. Not to mention a whole bunch of questions. All right, let's just sort these letters for him. Well, since he said he doesn't mind, why don't we read them as we go?
one's about. Shall we read another one? Do you want to keep reading them, or have you got the gist now? Okay, remember, we're trying to figure out when each letter was written. Order. If there's one thing we can take away from these, it's that Master Diluc has had a pretty difficult past. Not only was he misunderstood by the Knights of Favonius, but he's faced all kinds of other obstacles, too. Sounds like it's tough being Captain Pyro. Always fighting alone because, for one reason or another, it wasn't convenient for the people around him to help out. Yeah, that's true. Plus, he's got us now. We can give him all the help he could ever want. Oh, out of friendship, of course. Definitely not just for the grape juice. <laughs> Wait, what? Is there a problem? Master Diluc, you're wearing your old outfit again? And you've tied your hair back! You look so... formal all of a sudden. Old outfit? You've seen it before? Yep, it was by that Leyline Anomaly. That was your past self, right? Huh. I'm surprised it made such an impression. Do you mind telling us about it? What happened back then? Why were you fighting there? The same reason as ever. Just stopping another Abyss Order plot. They launched an offensive on several fronts at once. Unfortunately for them, they were still no match for me. We were fighting in an area on Falcon Coast, and everything was recorded by the unusually active ley lines. They must have become unstable again recently, causing them to let out all kinds of information from that time. Hence why you saw what you saw. For starters, you only need to deal with the monsters and the ley line deposit will stay dormant, as long as it isn't disturbed again. On the other hand, if I'd done nothing at all, the Knights of Favonius would have taken over straight away. Knowing how they work, they'd be sure to send a large contingent to guard the site. Wouldn't that have been a good thing? Depends. Most of the knights are away on expeditions, so they don't have a lot of people to spare. If the Leyline Anomaly was just a diversion tactic, the Abyss Order could have been poised to attack somewhere else entirely, while the knights were scrambling to send what limited forces they have to Falcon Coast. But anyway, I have no interest in talking to the Knights of Favonius. I prefer to get to the bottom of things myself rather than waste time negotiating with them. And it was easy enough for me to find out the Abyss Order's plans. Take a few Abyss Mages hostage, and they soon start talking. As for the Knights of Favonius, 
I've sent someone to enlist their cooperation where it's needed. It's their job to handle situations like this. They ought to be present when things come to a head. I don't like working closely with the Knights of Favonius because of our differences in philosophy, but that doesn't mean we can't watch each other's backs when it counts. Whoa. Seems like you have even more control over things now than you used to, Luke. The best way to deal with any threat is to utilize all the force at your disposal. Anyway, thank you for your help. Adeline brought me up to speed with everything. In return, I have a gift for your trouble. Great news! The packaging is so fancy! It must be really expensive! This is my personal favorite grape juice, made of the highest quality grapes. I happen to have an unopened batch, so I brought you a bottle to try. I didn't know you were such fans of grape juice. Next time you want some, don't bother waiting for the discount. Just go down to the cellar and help yourselves. It's on the house. Woohoo! Paimon's gonna tell everyone we meet that we're VIPs at Don Winery! This one bottle must be worth at least, like, 50,000 Mora! <laughs> and he gave it to us for free! Thank you so much, Master D. Luke! <laughs> if you're free tonight, you're welcome to stay for dinner. Adeline is already making it. Uh, there are, however, a few things I need to take care of before dinner time. Yes, passiveness is not my style. Though I had my suspicions at the start, everything I've come across so far in my investigation suggests that the Abyss Order was not behind this. Since this arose from natural causes, it's time to wrap things up. Um, so what should we do? Right, sure. After all, he did just give us this amazing grape juice. Wait, uh, no, uh, what was it? After all, even when the odds of success are nine to one, you must never lower your guard! <sighs> well said. In that case, let's get going. Okie dokie, Captain Pyro. You can take it a little easier this time. Come on, let's go! This is the final battle. Then we can put all this trouble behind us. The ley line deposit will disappear before long. All thanks to the power of teamwork! See, even Captain Pyro needs his trusty sidekick sometimes. It can't be Master Diluc saving the day by himself every single time. Many hands make light work. Sidekicks. Hmm. It's been a long time since I last worked with others. It's not so bad. If the opportunity arises, let's team up again in the future. Yeah. 